happening today. Connecticut lawmakers are holding a hearing on a bill that could lead all 12 state community college campuses having armed security guards. News 8's Renee Shamil is at Gateway Community College in New Haven to tell us what the bill will mean for Gateway and other schools. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Laura. That bill would allow for special police forces to be present here at Gateway and at other colleges. But first, that bill has to be approved. Supporters have said that those special police forces would be similar to those at the four state university campuses as well as the University of Connecticut. The Board of Regents for Higher Education needs to approve it. And they say deciding whether or not to arm police on campus will ultimately be up to each school. Back in December, the board voted unanimously to approve a resolution to lift the ban on weapons, clearing the way for the special police forces, but with the exception of Naugatuck Valley Community College. A spokesperson for the board says they're recommending the ban be lifted, but they're not mandating it. Meanwhile, Connecticut State Colleges and University System President Mark Ojakian said, quote, each campus will have to make that decision for themselves, but this legislation permits those campuses that want armed police, force, police forces without mandating it for those that don't. And officials say the training needed for those police forces will vary from campus to campus. Reporting live in New Haven this morning, Renee Schmiel, News 8.